So we're back for part two of our formal analysis kind of conversation. And so we just talked about how to sort of just do the basic outline or format of your composition here, as well as to as how to um, like start looking for the big sort of shapes uh, that you can see in there. But there really aren't big rules about how you're supposed to do this. Um, and again, if you're not particularly feeling good about um, you know, detailed drawing skills, it really, really doesn't matter that much. So if you want to go in and, um, you just want to go in and like work on, work on a drawing here, like a formal shape analysis drawing, that's a lot simpler. You could do something like just, uh, even just look for, um, you could just make this all geometric if you want to. Sometimes that really helps. So if, sometimes when people come in and they work on this they'll uh, you know they'll start with a format the correct outside bounding box area right and then if they look at the original that we're kind of studying here they'll just start looking for geometric shapes so instead of doing those kind of organic shapes you could look at this like okay we have a pretty big triangle shape that comes down like this uh, towards the bottom here another kind of rectangle kind of shape in here that's like that a little connecting spot between them maybe some like little triangle type shapes that come up here where these branches are. Um, this is obviously kind of just a big like square with a little point on it, right? This is, um, you know, you can just look really simply at like the perspective on it and just go, okay, triangles, triangles, um, some little triangle type shapes and squares that come up here. The cooling tower things behind this are uh, kind of these square shapes, a couple of poles here. Um, you know, and this is just like a big long rectangle. Um, up here with just some, you know, spots where these smaller trees sort of come up out of the, you know, out of the rectangle. And, um, you know, you could, you could get into these smaller windows if you wanted to, but you certainly don't need to. And then, you know, this is a triangle, right? Big shape. This would be, uh, you know, kind of a, more of a rectangle. Another rectangle there. Uh, another triangle shape. And then just a line, right? So now... If I look at this, I've just got a really simplified sort of geometric way to um, to figure out what's happening within the composition, right? And so you don't need to, um, you know, you can get more detail if you want, like keep going in to find deeper and deeper shapes. But it doesn't have to be uh, a really big kind of complicated sort of thing where you, um, you know, where you spend a ton of time drawing this in detail. Sometimes that's a great way to learn to do a master study where you copy something exactly and try and copy the techniques they use for their, um, you know, shading and how they use the line and everything. But that's really not what we're after for formal shape analysis or formal analysis. So it can be geometric, it can be organic, but just looking for the big, the big stuff. And what we're trying to do is identify the visual strategy. So the way that artists put together this composition in order to um, in order to just like kind of understand again the basic structure of it so you're looking for the visual strategy the structure the underlying um, kind of nature of this composition that we're paying attention to and this could be a painting a photograph it could be a drawing um, it could be a, a work of cinema so it could be video it could be a sculpture any uh, art object that we're trying to understand formal analysis is the right way to get started with it so what if for example in this one if we wanted to just kind of look and see so what is what's the basic kind of uh, structure of this composition right and so I could go in here and keep adding in some big kind of elements just to make sure that I'm getting some of that right and if I look there's actually a little less negative space over here so I probably expand that shape um, and I can start looking okay where are the big what are the big kind of um, movements in the composition? Sometimes we call this our lines of force or, or your eye path through the composition. But if I look at this, are there any big like diagonal sort of lines that shoot through the composition? And if I look, I mean, really the main kind of directional force lines in here is a line right across um, this top edge. Another one right through here, right? There aren't any diagonals really at all in this whole composition. There's maybe just a little bit of diagonal um, down here on this, on the, the spot where the uh, where the artist has put a kind of this tripod shape, right? Um, but there really isn't a ton of diagonals, right? It's a really stable composition that goes across. And you'll notice that the visual structure of this composition is what we call the rule of thirds, right? And the rule of thirds just divides a composition up into uh, 
one line here, one line there. So if we kind of just, again, kind of measure this out, out and come back in here, you can see, um, you can see we got a line through here and another line, another third line right through here, right? So these are two thirds where the composition is divided up equally, one, two, three thirds. And then you can do the same thing on the other side, right? So you can do the same thing, um, you know, up and down and vertically. And you'll notice that the artist has placed sort of focal point or important things within these thirds. So this, this top third contains the horizon line up here above our um, main image. And then the other line, the major line, goes on this third, right? So that's a orienting the structure, the visual structure of the composition around thirds. The figure, this figure here hits right here in the center of these thirds, or these intersect, right? This kind of industrial looking building over here hits right there in the middle of that third. So now if I'm breaking this down and trying to explain it to someone, I can, ex I can say it's a very stable kind of static composition it has very little um, movement in it, it and it's set up on the rule of thirds so it's divided in thirds and we generally tend to find the rule of thirds to be a pleasing visual arrangement we like the proportions it's got a nice variety to it as well as unity which we'll get into later but this is the basic idea you can look for that some compositions are going to have um, other kinds of uh, you know other structures to them right so if we look at this composition here I'll just draw on top of this really fast. Uh, if you look at this one, uh, you, again, you'll see that you have um, a really sort of different thing. It's not set up on the rule of thirds at all. It's pretty dynamic. There's a lot of diagonal sort of lines of force that shoot through this thing, right? If we we're going to do this, um, you know, with our sort of like geometric technique, we would do that. There's a big triangle here, triangle there, another triangle there triangles sort of everywhere uh, in terms of um, little tiny ones, triangle there. And you'll notice that, you know, just the shapes that are created within this composition are very uh, full of movement. They're kind of a zigzag technique, lots and lots of little sharp kind of um, things. And generally people tend to think of sharp things as being a little scary. We tend to think of those as threatening. And if you look at the kind of idea behind this composition. This is all about these boats that are in peril, right, from this big giant wave that's coming at them. And uh, and so I've got some pretty, uh, you know, I think the triangles make a lot of sense, these little pointed teeth almost that are pointing down at our, you know, at our human figures that are in this thing. So you can see it's got a whole different composition, uh, compositional structure. Uh, and we'll talk more about what that means later. Another good example might be this this image here. And if I just, uh, again, draw on this one really fast, you know, you're going to notice that the structure of this composition is set up very stable. So we have a big square shape here, a line here, which I'm going to bet you is pretty close to a third. We have another kind of shape here and, uh, you know, that and another rounded shape. So they're really, you know, if I turn this off, there's a, not a ton of movement in that composition. You'll notice it changes everything when I put in sort of a bounding box around the edge of the composition here. So that when I look at this uh, again, this is my edge, right? Now the positive negative space is much more interesting than if this was a, a more of a rectangular shape. But there's a little bit of like a triangle shape to this composition, right? It's got a little bit of that classical sort of stable triangle that you'll find in a lot of uh, compositions and so it's a good way to kind of analyze and figure out what's happening so that's your goal for this you want to make sure that you are doing um, a good job of, of doing your formal shape analysis looking for the big strategy the big things uh, that are going on in the composition the overall gist of what the artist has done and then we can move from there into some more specific and detailed um, analysis of how they use different elements and principles of art which is sort of the key to understanding what's happening